hey guys what's going on so in this video we are going to learn about how to edit text files using the inbuilt command line text editors and linux provides you with a variety of command line text editors like nano vi emacs etc but the focus of this particular video is how to use nano text editor to edit text files and the next video we're going to learn a better text editor which is the vi text editor so let's begin so first thing first nano text editor is a command line text editor that means it is inbuilt into your terminal nano text editor is licensed under the gnu general public license and it is really small and user friendly so let's just understand how we can use this nano text editor to edit some text files or any other files in particular first of all let's go ahead and create a file let me hit ls to show the contents of the current directory and as you can see there are only folders and no files so let's go ahead and create a file and edit it using the nano text editor normally we would be creating a file using touch space file name which is file one hit enter and then we will be using nano text editor to access that particular file and then edit it well you can use nano itself to create a file and then edit that particular file by typing nano space the path to that particular file in this case i want to create a file named file one in the current directory and edit it using the nano text editor go ahead and hit enter and this will open up a neat looking interface and at the top you can see it's gnu nano 4.3 version and at the bottom part you can see the available shortcuts that you can use for general purposes well i will come to the shortcut parts in a moment so now right now you can see that we have opened the file one and you can practically go ahead and type anything this is file one welcome to the bunker thanks for watching so i have put in some contents let me introduce some new lines and then type hey how are you just to you know fill in some contents so there you go i have filled some contents inside the file one and now in order to save this file you're gonna press the ctrl o key and then at the bottom it says which file name you want to write to so in our case if you want to change the file name to file 2 you can do that but in our, in my case i just want to keep it file 1 so let me type file 1 and then hit enter and that's gonna save or write to the file 1 now if you want to exit then go ahead and press ctrl x and that will exit your file so now if i type ls as you can see now there is a file named file 1 now if i type cat file 1 and hit enter as you can see the file one has been now edited and it contains the contents that we have typed using the nano text editor you can go ahead and open it using the nano text editor by typing nano space the file path in our case it is in the current directory so you can go ahead and type file one and then hit enter and we have access to the same file again and you can go ahead and edit it now we are going to learn a few shortcuts which can come in hand and makes nano powerful so in the bottom section you can see some general shortcuts they have written what each shortcut stands for so let me give you some help the caret symbol stands for the key control and here you can see the m and a hyphen that means you have to you gotta press the alt key so if you want to get help then you gotta press the control key and then g so let's go ahead and do that so type control g and as you can see you got some help all right and then you can go ahead and read it if you want the text is pretty simple and it's it's pretty neat and easily understandable but you don't need to learn all the shortcuts i'm going to tell you some necessary shortcuts that can help you in everyday life so if you want to close this particular file you can go ahead and look at these shortcuts again and here you can find in order to close you have to press the ctrl x key so go ahead and press ctrl x and you are back to the nano text editor now this one we have already done ctrl o means you gotta write out or simply speaking save the file and ctrl x means exit now so the first important shortcut that we are going to learn is how to move to the beginning of a line so suppose my cursor is right over here and i want to move to the beginning of the line which is hey i would go ahead and press ctrl a and that will swiftly move me to the beginning of the line and if i want to move to the end of the line i'm gonna press ctrl e and that will move me to the end of the line now suppose if i want to move to a particular line for example my cursor is an, on the first line and i want to move to the third line so i will press ctrl shift hyphen which is similar to ctrl underscore 
and at the bottom you can see enter the line number and column number in my case i want to go to the line number three so i can type three and hit enter and as you can see now my cursor is at line number three there you can see now once again let me do that if i want to move my cursor to line one and the second column so i will type one comma space two and hit enter and as you can see my cursor is at the second character from first line so i hope this particular shortcut is clear to you now we are going to learn how we can search for a word using nano text editor now there are two ways in which you can search one is forward search the other one is backward search in order to search from the forward direction you gotta press ctrl and w and that will begin the search and as you can see at the bottom you can see search so go ahead and search for the word is and then hit enter and as you can see my cursor is at the first character of is in the word this as you can see there and if i were to search again the word is and as you can see in the search it is already been filled you just gotta hit enter and it's gonna move to the second is word now if i want to search from the backward direction then instead of typing ctrl w i'm gonna press the ctrl q key now as you can see the search has become backwards in the bottom section you can see and now if i hit enter it's gonna come from the backward direction and search for the is word now we have jumped directly to the second is word because from the backward direction that is the first is that we, that we are going to encounter all right so now we are going to learn how we can cut and paste in nano text editor so for that in order to cut a line you gotta position the cursor at the starting of that line suppose i want to cut the line thanks for watching go ahead and place the cursor by moving your cursor using up down left right arrow key and then press ctrl k and that will cut the whole line now if you want to paste it under how are you section so press the ctrl u key and that will paste the line all right so now i would like to undo what i just did for that if you look at the bottom section undo is m hyphen u and i already told you m hyphen means you gotta press the alt key so go ahead and press alt and u and that will undo you gotta press it again and that's gonna do it two times and at the bottom section you can see what you just undid and you undid the cut operation okay so now we're gonna learn how we can replace a word there are two methods first is to use the search method so in order to search we're gonna do ctrl w as you can see where is or you can use ctrl q which is where was we already we have already discussed that so let's go ahead and do ctrl w and then search for thanks and hit enter and as you can see we are now at thanks so let me do that again ctrl w and let's search for thanks and right over here below in the shortcuts you can see the ctrl r is also for replace so let's go ahead and press ctrl r and that will ask us which keyword we want to search so let's search for thanks and then which keyword we want to replace thanks with so let's say hello and if you hit enter it says we want to replace this instance or all the instance well there is only one instance of thanks so let's just press y and that will change thanks to hello now the second way to replace a word or a character is by typing control and backward slash so let's go ahead and press control and backward slash and then it says which word you want to replace so let's say we want to replace the hello word again and then which word you want to replace with so this time let's replace it back with thanks and then you hit enter then it's gonna ask you want to replace this instance yes i want to replace this instance so go ahead and press y and that will replace hello with thanks now let me save this file so go ahead and press ctrl o to save this file and type in the file name that you want to save it so this time let me save the file with the name file 2 hit enter and then say it it prompts us save file under different name type y and then hit ctrl x to exit now if i hit ls as you can see now we have two file file one and file two let's open up the file one so type nano file one and as you can see we have file one let me go ahead and clear the contents now we are going to learn how we can read from a file so go ahead and press ctrl r and at the bottom section we can say file to insert from now here you just need to type the absolute path from which you want to insert or read from in my case i'm going to read from file 2 so this is present in the current directory so i'll type dot forward slash file 2 and if i hit enter as you can see i just read from the file 2 and nano text editor copied the contents of file 2 and then put it inside file 1 if you look right over here we are still inside file 1 and not inside file 2 now i'm going to introduce some brackets say hello 
and then i'm going to introduce another bracket hi and i'm going to introduce some multi brackets a plus b and then let me close that bracket and let me close now the reason i did is that because i'm going to tell you an another cool feature of nano text editor and that is bracket matching so if you look over here we have got a cool shortcut to bracket that is by pressing alt and the closing square bracket you're gonna find the matching bracket pair so if you want to find the bracket pair for this particular bracket which is the square bracket you gotta hover your cursor over that particular bracket press alt and closing square bracket and it's gonna jump you to the matching square bracket so suppose if i want to find the bracket for this particular parenthesis so i'll place my cursor over that particular opening parenthesis i'm gonna press alt and closing square bracket and it's gonna jump me to its matching pair so that was really cool so with this we are gonna end the nano text editor now in the next video we are gonna learn a much better and more useful text editor which is the vi text editor and if you were to ask me i would suggest you to go ahead and use vi text editor because it is more robust and it is more powerful than nano text editor and you don't have to learn a bunch of shortcuts to work your way through in vi text editor we use several commands instead of shortcuts so that's all for this video bye bye take care and i'll see you again in the next video